Welcome back, everybody. It's 8 uh, 52. I tell you what, uh, lots of work goes into planning an event like the Junos. I mean, it's not just one night where some awards are handed out, there's so much more going on. Chris Topping is here uh, with uh, Kara and Juno Awards. Uh, you're the vice president of events and uh, special programming and all that, right? Yep. Uh, congratulations. So far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Now, you're no stranger to this, right? You were telling me this is your eighth Junos? Yeah, eighth. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe how much is involved in this uh, this particular week. It's not just a weekend, it's a week. Yeah, we, well, yeah, a week of events. We've been planning for two years. Uh, we had events that started last night. Tanya mentioned Juno Hoops. Uh, we've got Juno Cup hockey game tonight. It's the, uh, the Rockers versus NHL greats. Mm -hmm. uh, NHLers like Hall of Fame defenseman Paul Coffey. Uh, uh, Troy Crowder. Uh, oh, Troy Crowder? Yeah, good. former Senators Brad Marsh, Sean Van Allen, uh, uh, Jason York. They're playing the Rockers, which uh, feature members of Blue Rodeo, Sloan, uh, Down with Webster, Classified. They're uh, hockey Sam, players, Sam too, Roberts. right? They're pretty good hockey players, too, yeah. Like, I know Jim Cuddy plays all the time. He plays all the time, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know about the Sloan guys. They're from uh, Halifax, my hometown, so. They're uh, pretty good, too. Are they? Yeah. It, yeah, it's actually it's a really fun game. Uh, it takes place uh, tonight at the uh, Nepean Sportsplex. Right in the Steve Eisman Arena. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Tickets That's are Ticketmaster. You can still get tickets for that. Yep. And this is a fundraiser, right? Yeah. Uh, we're supporting uh, our music education program. It's called Music Counts. Yeah. And uh, we give schools music uh, grants to buy new musical instruments. Yeah. Juno Fest starts today. Yeah, it's a two-night festival. Uh, over 100 bands, 17 different venues. We've got 40 Juno Award nominees playing, uh, some of the best local bands as well, yeah. and uh, there's something for everyone. There's pop, rock, hip hop, metal, yeah. jazz, blues, you name it, we've got it. Fanfare tomorrow at uh, uh, Saint Laurent Center? Right? Yeah, massive autograph session. Um, you've never heard that. Uh, people want to do that, get autographs, because I noticed even when Alyssa Reed came in this morning at like yeah. 7 o'clock, some ungodly hour, there's someone outside <laughs> waiting for an autograph. So well, they like that. There'll be a couple thousand people at Saint yeah. Laurent Center. That's from noon to three, by the way, at Saint Laurent Center. So if you plan on going, bring your autograph book or whatever it is yeah. you want. People There'll be sign. 17 different artists there. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, then what? Uh, the Juno Songwriters Circle yeah, is on sun Sunday afternoon at the Center Point Theater. Uh, it, it's known as the Jewel of Juno Week. Uh, songs and stories by some of Canada's finest songwriters. Uh, Dan Mangan is a four-time nominee this year. He's yeah. hosting a uh, really diverse lineup. Uh, Max Kerman from the Arkells, Cardinal yeah. Fischel, Kieran Alawalia, Terry Clark, country uh, superstar. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Kelly, uh, sorry. Uh, anyway, it's an amazing show. Uh, you get to hear the, the story behind the song, and then you get to hear the song in, yeah. in a real format. Yeah, and that's always cool. Format. Yeah, that's it's always amazing. Cool. Are you involved in the show itself on Sunday night? Uh, not a lot, no. No. But everything's leading up yeah, to that. Yeah, everything is leading what you up to it. After. I mean, you know, I mean, as an organization, we're uh, we're obviously a big part of it. Yeah. Uh, very excited about it. It's going to be an amazing show. Yeah. Uh, tickets are available at CapitalTickets.ca. You still get tickets. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Regina is next year, and I know you're already a year into the planning of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Holy smokes, man! <laughs> this is it's crazy, eh? Yeah. Well, we're here. It's uh, three more nights. Yeah, that's yeah, very exciting. Does Qualified. it get bigger and better every year? Like every time you try and outdo the next, or you try and depending on the venue well, and what's going on. It, and, going into different cities every year kind of rejuvenates everything, and yeah. so you get every uh, the, the city's enthusiasm. Excuse me. So it's uh, it, yeah, it's really fun that way. What's the best part of the Junos for you? I love Canadian music, so promoting and celebrating Canadian artists. That's what I love doing, and, yeah. and with the public events, it's. Uh, there are uh, so many different ways to experience Canadian Music Week or Canadian music, you know, whether it's hockey or a big yeah. autograph session or a songwriter circle. Yeah. That's really fun for me. Listen, thanks uh, for dropping by to see us. I know you're a vis very busy guy, and congratulations on, on the success of this week so far. Thanks Start for having time. me. Chris Topping, he's the man uh, that makes it all happen, and I'm, I'm sure you got a great team. We have an amazing team. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Uh, good to have you on the program. 8.57, hour four of CTV Morning Live is coming right up. We'll be right back. More Juno stuff on the way. Thank you, sir. Thanks so much.